This man is named Bat. He lives where nobody else ever goes. Bat belongs to the Tsatan clan. The Tsatan have been raising reindeer for 3,000 years. They live in the far north of Mongolia, one of the coldest regions in the world. This is where their animals find their favorite food, lichen, mushrooms, and moss. But Frost has depleted the soil, so Bat brings them some every day. His reindeer not only expect him to come, they depend on him. Bat was born here, in the heart of his clan. Each family is protected by a chosen reindeer. Bat inherited his. His father gave it to him on the day he died. Now it is his holy reindeer. Every evening, Bat assembles his animals around the tent. Today, his wife, Grelma, is waiting for him. She's worried. Their holy reindeer is tired. It has just turned 15, which is old for a reindeer. The animal protects them against spells, disease, and is their guardian of happiness. Bat's father had selected the animal. Bat's father had been a shaman and knew how to speak with the animal's spirit. To have tobacco, tea, flour, or salt, Bat cuts the antlers off his reindeer and sells, or rather, trades them. He barters with the Mongolians. Winter isn't far off. In a few days, the thermometer will drop to 40 below, and snow will cover everything for eight long months. Now is the time to leave, to get out of the icy wind that blows across the mountaintops. Bat moves his tent more than 10 times a year, so that his reindeer always have something to eat. The holy reindeer never carries anything, not even humans. And during migrations, never has its antlers cut. On migrations, its soul travels with the children. The holy reindeer has already been across a thousand mountains and he doesn't want to move anymore. Its end is near, but they have no choice. They must move. The sun will set twice before Bat and his brothers reach their new camp. The clan will spend part of the winter in the shelter of the Gold Mountain. Bat believes that they won't be bothered by wolves. He knows that snowstorms will also stay away. But it's high time to prepare for the great cold. Bat has got to cut off the antlers of a dozen or so reindeer in order to barter them against provisions. Meanwhile, who keeps an eye on the holy reindeer? The animal is dying. Thank you. 
için sadece dayattığım için Müthi bir değerim Yükseldim For Bat the Zatan, death is only a continuation of life. The soul of his holy reindeer has returned to the mountain. As a last service to the family, the animal gives them his body, his skin, and his antlers. Bat must now make haste to find another sacred reindeer. Without a mascot, his wife and children are unprotected. In the shaman tradition, Bat must have a dream, and the dream must show him the reindeer to choose. The only trouble is he's never had this kind of dream before. It had always been his father who'd chosen the family's only animal. Tomorrow, Bat will go into the valley and take his son with him. The Tsatan drink their reindeer's milk, eat their meat, and cover themselves with their hides. As for the reindeer, they wait for the men to wake up, for they get a little more of the salt they need from their urine. <laughs> <laughs> For the first time, Bat leaves his family without protection from the spirits. But he has no choice. He's got to bring back provisions for the winter. <laughs> Reindeer are ideal mounts, unbeatable in the mountains. Their hooves adapt to all terrains. They can even keep their footing on icy slopes. Bat has sold his antlers to this old Mongolian for years. And each time it's the same story. <laughs> Enough flour and tea to last for a year in exchange for the antlers. During the winter, the old Mongolian will sell them to the Chinese. The Chinese say that the antlers are aphrodisiacs. Bat is afraid that his dream for the holy reindeer will never come. he will find a wild reindeer to steal its soul. At last, the mountain has given him his dream. Now, Bat knows which animal to choose from his herd. <laughs> to celebrate the new sacred reindeer, Bat carries out a ritual his father once taught him. The ritual consecration. To win acceptance of the new reindeer by the spirits of the forest, and for the future to be good, the bull, in its fall, must remain looking at the sky. 
but can then walk three times round the family tent. It's the crowning moment. Bat is happy. The winter can come when it wants now. Snow can cover his kingdom. Bat wants to live where there's food for his reindeer. This, for him, is freedom. As long as there are reindeer, there will be Tatan. 